much. All right. Well, there's a powerful new memorial inside the Roosevelt Field Mall to raise awareness about the opioid crisis. It's called Prescribed to Death. 22,000 pills on the wall, each pill representing a life that was taken in the year 2017 from an opioid overdose. Joining us right now is Nassau County District Attorney Madeline Singus. Nice to have you back on Good Day New York. Thank you. Good morning. So we know Long Island has been hit hard by the opioid crisis. What is the latest? It's, I mean, we're trending down. So thankfully, opioid ODs are down this year, but last even year. One, but even, even one, one is death too is many. one too many. Obviously, I, I mean, families are in crisis and they're hurting and the ripple effect is tremendous. Communities are impacted, people's workplaces, uh, you know, houses of worship. Everywhere I go in the county, someone is telling me about a loved one that either succumbed or is in the throes of addiction. And it's a big problem. So looking at some of the numbers, in 2017, there were 184 opioid-related deaths in Nassau County. And in 2018, a, a small drop to 147. Yeah. But as you look toward the future, what is the plan that you think needs to be in place? I think what we're doing is working to some extent, right? Because that's a 20% drop, and we're really proud of that. Mm -hmm. So it's for us, it's three prongs. Making sure that enforcement is tough, taking down the big-time drug traffickers with complex investigations, and making sure we're putting them out of business so they can't pump that poison onto our streets. Also education. We're in schools. Uh, my ADAs are in schools several times a month talking to kids and their parents about what addiction looks like, uh, what their future will hold if they go down that road, how to make better choices, and also treatment because we can't turn this corner unless there's treatment available that people can access immediately. When they want the help, it has to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, and we funded a program from the DA's office using forfeiture funds uh, to create the first ever crisis center open 24 hours a day, seven days a week in Nassau County. And I'm proud to say that since 2016, uh, New Hope in Freeport has treated over 2,600 people. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of and people. So yeah. we have to keep doing that. We have to help families get the treatment that they need. So this memorial that you have set up at Roosevelt uh, Mall, Field, yeah. uh, did you want to do it there because it, it, there's a lot of foot traffic mm -hmm. and you know people don't really have to go anywhere to see it. Exactly. They can when they're shopping, it's kind of in your face. Exactly. That, that was the idea. We wanted to make sure that a lot of people would see it and that we would spur conversations. So mm -hmm. people, when they were out with their kids, going back to school shopping, and just say, "Let's go take a look. Let's see what what's going on, and let's have a conversation about it." Because so, there is a stigma associated with it. Absolutely, a stigma associated with. It. I hear it, and people are ashamed, and and we have to realize that addiction is. A disease and we have to talk about it we have to take away that stigma so that people can get the help that they need so putting it at a place like Roosevelt Field front and center in a place where tens of thousands of visitors go by um, you know it was important for us to really make a statement and this memorial you know I, I encourage people to go see it because it's really moving and walking in there and seeing those pills uh, with the faces on it literally putting a face wow. uh, to this this crisis is so important and uh, it really is an incredible exhibit, so I, I, I thank the National Safety Council for bringing it, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to our sponsors for sponsoring it, uh, and I think it's really going to have an impact on people. Let's talk a little bit about um, some other current events. Uh, last week, uh, you had to deal with, um, I think, a 16-year-old kid being stabbed yes. in Seymour. Nassau County, and mm -hmm. instead of the kids helping, they were mm -hmm. videotaping the whole thing. Yeah, well, look, I mean, people were surprised by that, but if you see teenagers at all, you know that their phones are never 10 inches away from their bodies, right? They film everything, whether the it's what they're eating, whether film. they're, yeah, you know, but that's a generation that we're raising with these phones. So they, but I have to say that there were kids who called 911, there were kids who went over to uh, offer assistance, uh, and I'm grateful for those videos, because those if videos turn into evidence that we can ultimately use. So as long as people share that with law enforcement, uh, it's good, but you know, look, it's a statement on our culture that everything is documented everything mm -hmm. like and 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 it's so natural for them to reach for their phones and just record as opposed to doing anything else um, and so, there has been what an 18 year old that's been apprehended was yes. the only person really involved well it was you know it was an attack on this 16 year old uh, you know I can't talk a lot about it it's in the grand jury so yeah um, was it over a woman because they said it might have been you know, over. that's that those were the early indications that we got that he was walking uh, the victim was walking someone home and uh, you know the defendant and his friends took umbrage at that uh, and wanted to prove a point so again all that will be 
played out, and we'll talk more about it. Are uh, you looking for anybody indictment. else in you know, this? We're, we're continuing the investigation, as always. We're checking all the video. We're talking to people. We're talking to witnesses. And again, you know, our, our mission is to make sure that uh, this family gets justice for their 16-year-old that was right. brutally murdered uh, and bled out in the streets of Nassau mm. County. Just wish also that you could just get the word out to young people that even though that it's maybe their culture, but but to call the police like they did or just absolutely try to help Absol like kindness and empathy let's get that back into our world let's teach our kids that uh, they have to render assistance they have to help law enforcement they can't just sit by like being a bystander it may not be legally uh, you know a problem but morally like you know what, what kind of kids are we raising let's make sure that they understand uh, that they need to help out and a lot of them did so I don't want to you know I don't want to continue that narrative because there were a lot of calls to 911 there was a lot of video that was handed over there were people who kids who rendered assistance uh, to him as he lay dying. So, mm -hmm. Thank you, Nassau County District Attorney Madeline Sanders. We appreciate it. Yeah, nice to have you on. Thanks. All right. Uh